Hey, everybody. That's as far as you got? <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, everybody. Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about what? Flexural strength of concrete. Because sometimes concrete's got to flex on other materials. So flexural strength is what's, what's different than compressive strength? In flexural strength, what are we doing? We, we're checking for flexural strength, so we're looking at almost a bend of the concrete versus a straight compression down. And yeah, so the test specimen itself If I had is a pencil, I would flex it and break it and show you, but I don't have a pencil. Yeah, I don't see one over there. I, I had to stand on my tippy toes, still couldn't see over there, so. Okay, well. That's what happens when you're short. Out there at your desk as you're watching this video, when you should be working, reach into your desk drawer, pull out a pencil. Wait, this is working. No, I was saying they are watching the video while they should be working. No, they, they, no, this is working for them. Oh, yeah. Because, Education and, is oh. always a good work thing. I got you. So, Skip what he said. Watch our videos as much as you can. We would love that. <laughs> strength and bending yes. is the idea behind flexural strength because some designs, like concrete beams, reinforced concrete beam designs, pavements, pavements rely on the capacity of that concrete to move flex and rebound come yes. back and, and not actually have catastrophic failure and that could just simply be get breaking yeah so you got in the test rig if, if i may yes. a typical astm c78 hydraulic ram you got a hydraulic like ram strength. you got two rollers on the bottom yes you got a beam that's six inches by six inches by 20 20 inches you got two rollers on the top attached to the ram you're pushing down or pushing up and you're bending the beam in this direction you get a peak load yep and the test method will give you the formula to calculate your peak flexural stress or modulus of rupture yes so that's the way it is there's a it's lot more pretty, to it if you yeah. actually read the standard on how to calculate that we just don't want to get into it we want to try to keep this video a little bit short but make sure you always are reading the the standard it is important because uh, different aggregates can impact flexural strength in, in different ways. So can different, uh, you know, if you use a fiber, it can impact uh, flexural strength in a different way. So it's always good to know the, your actual flexural strength, not just calculate based on compressive, I think I'm going to get X. It's, it's always a good idea to, to test for flexural strength, at least to get, a, to get a conversion factor, you know, to nail it down. But in the case of pavements, Many designers actually want that test performed. Yes. Often. We've made plenty of cylinders and and beams in my lifetime and Yep. They're a lot of fun too. Yes, they are. They're heavy. A little bit. Yeah. All right. So that's it for the flexural strength video. We hope uh, you've enjoyed it. We hope uh, you too get the chance to make flexural strength specimens and break them in your lab and because uh, they're fun. They're not quite as fun as compressive strength because they don't explode. They just sort of flex and break. And crack. But they it's still concrete, and that beats the heck out of anything else. <laughs> Thanks, like, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you again for watching us as we talked about flexural strength. Continue to like, subscribe, watch more of our videos, ask questions, make suggestions on what you might want. We're here to try to help out as much as we can. We enjoy making this content. Thank, yeah, thank you so much. Catch you next time. <laughs>